John is a first year student at Keene State College, and he has a question. After meeting with his advisor, he was confused about what courses he should take the following semester. After a semester in lecture-based courses, he realized that he did his best learning when he was involved in hands-on activities that involved applying the concepts from his courses. He was sure that there were classes on campus that were right for him, but when he looked at WebAdvisor, he quickly felt overwhelmed by the number of courses offered. Mary is an instructor at Keene State College. She also has a question. After careful planning and long conversations with her colleagues, she decided to redesign a portion of one of her courses to work closely with a community agency to show the real-world application of the concepts in her course. Mary had heard a lot of stories from her colleagues about students who loved and hated courses that were similar to the ones she was planning to teach. She wanted to know how she could be sure that she was recruiting students that were going to work hard and enjoy the structure of her course. Mary was familiar with the traditional course designations like lecture and lab, but she had heard that there were some new course designations that were available in WebAdvisor. Mary had received a brochure in her faculty mailbox that described the new course designations, and she remembered reading that blended learning integrates traditional classroom interaction with online activities in a planned, pedagogically valuable manner. Faculty teaching a blended course replace 20 to 50 percent of traditional class time with online alternatives. Service learning involves time spent off campus engaged with a community agency providing a service relating to curricular objectives. Community-based learning involves time spent off campus engaged in community areas or activities aimed at enhancing the curricular learning objectives of a course or providing opportunities to explore course content in a real-world setting. Research is a designation for a course with a significant research-based component aimed at the production of new knowledge around questions and or current trends in a discipline. The next day, Mary talked with a colleague who had used one of the new course designations for a class he had recently taught. He mentioned that students selecting his course came to class excited about the research-based learning course designation they had read about on WebAdvisor, and that he had fewer students who dropped the course because of its structure. John was having lunch in the DC when he overheard a group discussing a course that involved service learning. Students talked about hands-on learning and the concrete application of concepts that they were learning about in class. He politely asked the group how he would know which class to choose, and they told him to look closely at the course designation for a class. After her hallway conversation, Mary went to her department's administrative assistant and asked if she could change how her course was listed on WebAdvisor. With just a few simple clicks, her course was changed from the default designation of lecture to service learning instead. After lunch, John walked back to his dorm room and decided to see if he could find any courses that had the course designation Service Learning. It wasn't long before he found Mary's course, and it sounded perfect. John's question had been answered, and he was excited about the next semester. Mary saw her class quickly fill up, and was excited about the rich teaching experience waiting for her in the next semester. You can change your course designations, too. If you'd like more information, please contact the administrative assistant for your department, your dean's administrative assistant, or the registrar. For summer courses, contact Leslie Mayola in continuing education. Happy teaching!